Здравствуйте.
before you, Lord. We want to pray for our country, Australia. We will not God. We will bless our country, Australia, God. I will lift our country into your hand, God. We ask you to God to bless our leader, to bless our people, God. We miss restoration. We need to heal this country, God. We that you are very good on us, God. I know we can't rely on everything in this country, God, except in you. We also want to pray for our family, our friends, God, wherever they are in Indonesia. I know the pandemic is very hard for them, God. But your blessing, your love to our family, our God, wherever the church, they need you. Help, God. I know that you are here. We want to open our heart to receive your spirit. So we want to bless them. We want to help them. We want to know that you are not just right and see what they're doing, God. You also please your people come to you and ask you for help, God. We pray for our church, we pray for Nigeria, we pray for us of sacrifice, we pray for Namas, we pray for Yahweh Penuai, House of Grace. God, we know all this just need you. We need you, God. For your hands to build our generation, to build our heart, we God. Now this time for you, for us. God, to humble ourselves, to receive your word, to receive your blessing in this place. Bless all the people that come in here in this place now and also the people that watch our online service, God, whatever they are. Bless them, give them a joy, give them a love, and give them anything that they need. If they seek, they get. Your hands will heal them. If they have a problem, they have issue in the family, in the finances, or whatever they need, God, I know that you are with helping them. I know your plan is never fail for us, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, let's be really worshiping.
The fifth angel sounded his trumpet. I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. Then, like scorpions. They were told not to harm the grass or plants or trees, but only the people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were told not to kill them, but to torture them for five months with pain like the pain of a scorpion's face. In those days, people will seek but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. The locusts look like horses with paint. They have what look like gold crowns on their heads, and their faces look like human faces. They have hair like wolf hair and teeth like the teeth of a lion. They wore armor made of iron, and their cross roared like a hundred of chariots rushing into battle. They had tails that stung like scorpions, and for five months they had the power to torment people. Their king is the angel from the bottomless pit. His name in Hebrew is and in the Greek, the destroyer. This is the picture of the locust. Um, this is the, the locust as well. You want to, in Revelation verse 3, we read that when the locust came from the smoke and descended on the earth, and they were given power to speak of scorpions. Talking about locusts. 
obey with what Moses and Aaron say. He, he first asked Moses, if you want to leave, um, who is the person who leave? And Moses and Aaron said, all the people. And Pharaoh said, um, no, why all the people? No, I don't want to let you, let you go. So, because he refused the Yeah. 
more experience. Yeah. This is more experience, more experience in here. Like I just know you this year, and then I got that butterflies last year. But she want me more. <laughs> she want me more. And then I want to surrender to you. And then the last three days we feel we together feel blessed because um Lord living at the time. So why this curse in the in Revelation? In Revelation first. Enemy. We know the answer from verse 4 and verse 11. 
In verse 4, it says, They were told not to harm the glass or plants or trees, but only the people who did not have the seal of God on their forehead. Because these locusts, they not attack the people, they not torture the people who have seal of God in their forehead. But in verse 11, say, the lo this lock is from enemy, first 11, support this. Like, their king is the angel from the bottomless, the bottomless pit. His name in Hebrew is uh, in Greek, the destroyer. Now we know that these two locusts in first and in Revelation, you can see there's locusts from God and then there's locusts from enemy. Still not working from <laughs> Oh, but before that, I want to share a little bit story about my life. What happened this week and this week. Last week, I spent my day from Monday to Sunday. Even on Sunday, I think, um, job. I decided to work in. The reason why I decided to work in because I need to support myself. Because in the next two months, I will apply. I will inquiry in another school. And then I that's why I'm thinking like, okay, I need to do something too. And I decided to work last week. Really, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I work on that week. And then on Monday, we have a discussion in, in the morning. And then in that discussion, Johanna told me like, you look so different now. How is your relationship with God? How, like, tell me what God speak to you because sometimes, like, in our business, God can speak to us. But I told her, like, yeah, what did you say? say? You know, that time, like, you told me that this is because, like, God told you to start this study. God told you to start this one. But now, what's next? What happened like, if you already decided? What happened you if you? Already take that school, you go to school and then you graduate. What happened after that? She asked me. And then I told her, like, I don't know, but I have faith in God. <laughs> I have faith in God. <laughs> but she told me that this is like a transition moment where I, where I need to find God again, where I need to make my relationship. Again, ask God again about the plan. And then on the Monday, I have that conversation. That conversation still not stick to me. Like, some of the people in here, they have mentor in their life. And then sometimes, when your mentor says something to you, and then they, that word just come from the right, um, your ear, and then go out from your left ear. That also what happened to me in Monday. And then on Tuesday, I asked. God, she told me that, am I really um, that busy, am I really that tired? And then I'm thinking like, probably am I tired, probably I am tired because I already work for one or whole week without a day off because I normally, in the middle of the week, I always have a day off. And after church, I always have like time to have a rest. And then on Wednesday, I told my boss, is it fine if I have a day off on Wednesday? And then she said, oh yeah, it's fine, she told me that. And I decided to have a day off on Wednesday. And as always, we have morning prayer. And on that time, we worship God. And then I feel God speak to me. God said, God told me like, now you can see. Because before that, I told God, God, I want to worship you. I want to... Um, yes, I want to answer this because you speak to me. And then on that worship, I really feel God in my right side. And then he said, now you can see. And then after that, okay, God, now I want to go in back again. I want to have, um, I want to fix my relationship again with you. And then on Wednesday, after, after we do the morning prayer, we have a walk. We always walk and then we pray together because we also have morning um, conference after this week. So we pray to some
some suburb to walk to that suburb and pray to that area. And then we also we also treat ourselves. <laughs> we eat a lot of like um, the food that we love. But <laughs> we go to cafe and then as always um, we have she told me like bring your journal, not do devotion in Green Square Library. On that time I said like, okay God, I know now I'm tired. Oh now I finally I realized that um, I am tired. I don't know if I am tired because I thought that I still have that energy. But on Wednesday I'm still asking God, I do the devotion, I read the Bible, but I feel like God not speak to me. God not say anything to me. All I want is God speak to me. All I want is He come to me, pop up to me, say something to me like a waste. But on Wednesday, no, I didn't get that. On Thursday, I go on if you're working in the morning, in the evening also I'm working. And then Friday, I decided to, because I'm working in a Muslim, I always pass a Green Square a library. I stopped there. I decided to worship from there for one hour because I'm thinking if I'm going home, there's another people. If I worship, I don't want to disturb them. So I decided to find a place to worship them in the time. So I turned my YouTube video. So uh, I worship God, but I didn't feel anything on that time. I feel like God's still not saying anything to me. God's still not speak to me anything. But I still have like because um, I also read a book that books told me just have faith and hope. And then I said like, okay, I read in the Bible, the Bible said this, and then I read the book, the book also said this, to have hope, to have faith in the Bible. But I didn't see anything, but okay, I still have. I still asking God, I still uh, ask God guided. And then on Friday, um, yeah, on Friday, oh no, on Saturday we have youth gathering. I really feel blessed on that time because finally I feel God speak to me. I feel like, oh, like, you know, when Father come to you, speak to you, and then there's after that you feel happy on that time on Saturday. I really feel like, oh, finally the Lord speak to me. The Lord told me like, um, oh, yeah, let's um, let's we fix the relationship of this. And this morning, we still have the morning prayer, and then God, this morning prayer is different than before. Because I can feel the, I always feel God always next in the right side of me. And in this morning prayer, God speak to me a lot. That a lot he gave me a lot of information. And then after that, I have a thought. How come in last week, I decided to... Um, have a job, um, taking the job, get myself busy without have a relationship because we need to have that. We need to have only one moment. We talk to the Lord. We speak to the Lord. We need to ask Him, Oh Lord, we need you to help us in our life. We need to. We need you to show us the the way. Where shall we go? But last week I decided to not to, and this week on Monday I still become like that. I'm still questioning. Even I just remember. Even there's one day in our discussion, in my discussion with Johanna, I told her in Bahasa, but I will translate in English. I told her that God, I didn't see God like. There is a power in God anymore. I didn't see God like an expensive God anymore. I cannot find you God. And then after that, her expression like, whoa, wow. <laughs> Why did she say that? She not say that, but her expression showed me that. <laughs> oh, whoa, why? But after that, we have a discussion. On Monday, we have a discussion. On Tuesday, we have a discussion. On Wednesday, I don't understand. But I think that I need to fix my relationship to God. I need to have spare time to God. And then on Wednesday, um, I decided to uh, 
to take a day off. And then I have rest. My body has some rest. And then I have the rest. And the time. And then on Thursday, I, after I, I respond what God said to me, on Wednesday, um, sorry, on Thursday, I'm asking God. Not asking like, do you have power or like that? No. On Thursday, I asking about God. I want to have the relationship to you again. I want to fix my relationship to you again. But why you not speak to me? I, I feel like still not enough. I still, I feel like I'm still not content because I don't have you. you know, like, and then on Friday, I take decided. Um, I decided to um, worship him. Like I'm still in angry, but I still believe. Like God, I want to worship you. I say the word for oh God. You are patient. You are love. You are kindness. You are greater. Lord, thank you for your crucifixion. I say that, but in my heart, I also like. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want you. 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 I say that to God on Friday, and then on Saturday, I feel that with the youth, um, with our youth gathering. That's why if we have a youth gathering, if we have Homsal, we need to come. Because sometimes God also can speak to us mm -hmm. on that moment. Probably sometimes we think that if we come to that, oh my God, we need to come to that place again. We spend like another hour, we have discussion. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's like, oh, I just waste my time if I go there. But if you believe, just come. But before you come, you ask God, God, I want you to invite you. I want you to speak to me. I want you in my life. And then you come to that place. You have the discussion. But not only come and stay and listen, but you come to that place. You also responding what they say. Responding what the first. Responding the question. Not when... Um, sometimes it's happening when um, there's a question and then no people answer. There is like a not active group. But if we also responding with the question, that makes that community more alive. And then God can speak more on the time. So on, I decided to come because sometimes, if I can be honest, in youth gathering, I already going back from work. And then I'm thinking like, okay, no, I don't want to, I don't want to open my Zoom. <laughs> I don't want to uh, connect with them, like, because I want to have, I want my mind rise, I want to have, but yes, I decided to, okay, I come. Okay. And then God speak to me. I feel so blessed. All the people answer the question. All the people responding with the question. And that you... Yeah, we're really blessed from yesterday. And then on Sunday, now I speak in front of you, people. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, maybe some of you still asking, like, why she pop up the first, why she pop up the word in here, and then she keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, what is the point, what is, uh, what can we learn? The conclusion is, if you feel that God speaks to you, answer, answer him. Because in his heart, he said to me that he want you. He want you to act more. He want you to ask him more again. Not only, not only every Sunday or every Saturday or every um, Sunday in the weekdays, only on that hour. But in your daily, you need to also ask, God, I want you more. I want you to speak to you more because because when He speaks to you, His voice really calm. Um, I'm trying to describe this with English, with the, uh, but when He speaks to me, it's like. The father, his voice is really soft. His love, his kindness is real. His power is real. You and I believe if you ask for that, if you ask for more, if you ask for more, you will get that too. And the point why I'm talking about this. 
to a new place and they don't know what they speak and then there's an expression like like that and I can see that I can saw that the enemy like he's he not saying anything but his expression can show that what is he what is he doing why is he he is he is doing that <laughs> why is he doing that why is he decided to follow distance why is he decided to and then why is he always say there is a power in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name he's still like he's still like questioning about that that enemy he he stay next to God but he's curious with what God did and then I told to God God I believe in you I believe in you there's a power in Jesus name there's power in Jesus name I scream I cry and then I ask him God this enemy will really disturb me if you can do the same thing like the movie you doing this to the snake I want you to do that Amen. I want you to do that again. I don't want to enemy to disturb me again so on that time God speak to me and then the enemy also there God also do that so Now, after all this experience, I can say, now I can say, that Bible is not only a history. That Bible is not only a sentence in that book. Yeah. That Bible, there is not only, there is not only like, we need to read a daily, we need to read that every time, but that Bible can help us. That Bible is the garden, like this morning, Pastor Iwan said that, that is the garden for our life. So, every time, this morning I also have a discussion with the Papetrus, Papa said, keep asking God about wisdom, keep asking about wisdom to God. So, when there are some people, when they read the Bible, they don't get anything because they hoping for something but they do not ask for that. They not pray before that. They not they not asking to God about that. But all you need to do is when you open the Bible, you need to ask him. You need to ask him to guide you. You need to ask him to lead you so that verse can speak to you. There is some verse already speak to me and At first, like, oh wow! Finally, after this long, after this journey, now I can feel the the Bible speak to me. This man, there's some Bible that speak to me. And after that, oh, I believe in you now. I trust you now. I have hope in you now. I have faith in you now. I don't want to going back again like four days, like I do last week. This. Previous day, I don't want to do that again. I want to walk now. I want to walk with God. I want to accept God. I want to answer what He said. So, now I want to ask you, do you want to have this will of God? Because if we have the will of God, we can feel the relationship too. We can feel God too in our life. So, this last question. Do you have the soul of God? Do you want to have the soul of God? So, to close this um, this time, I want to invite all of you. We want to fix our relationship with God. We want God to talk to us. We want God to speak to us. We want Him to to show us again. Now maybe some of you asking, is that real? Is that is it make up the story? If you don't believe in me, try. You can try. Everyone can try in here. Everyone. Can Too. I believe everyone can feel that too in this place. So all you need to do 
is asking you. So we want to invite all of you. Let's we close this time with prayer so God can speak to us. So we can fix our relationship. So our rela relationship can walk more faster than before. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for the confidence, Lord. Thank you for the skill that you give us, Lord. Lord, we want to have the relationship with you, Lord. We want to have that. We want to fix that relationship with you, Lord. Maybe some. Maybe we still have doubt. We still have. We still questioning you, Lord. But we still want to believe in you. We want to have faith in you. We want to hope in you, Lord. Now we want to invite you once again, Lord. Work in our life, Lord. Work in me, Lord. Speak to us, Lord. Give us experience, Lord. And give us more bigger experience than this, Lord. Lord, I believe you also touch their heart, Lord. You also touch all the people in here, Lord. I want you to work more to our life, Lord. And then I want you to speak to us more, more again, more again, Lord. Now I believe in you, Lord. I don't want to have question again to you, Lord. I don't want to have doubt again to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I can feel the presence of God in here. And... Yes, Lord. We want that, Lord. We want you, Lord. We want you more and more, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, everyone say, Amen. 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 Wow. How amazing is that? Um, I definitely want to wait a moment. Are still a child that needs attention, then complaint is 
is yours. But if your nature in Him, then do it with grace. Amen. All for His glory, not for our glory. Amen. Now, um, we want you to pull up our um, offering. Right, so there will be two ways um, to be offered. The first one, you can just pop to the front and bring the offering. The second one is uh, through the transfer. And normally, do the second one because that's the most easiest way. <laughs> so, feel free to just be ever easier. Why do we hold your um, envelope and let's pray? Father, we want to trust our finances in you, Father. We know. Get your in control, Lord, and forgive us if sometimes we have to complain when we serve you, Father. We want to bring our new attitude before you, Father, and knowing that, God, you are in control, and you're holding our finances, and you're blessing us with your richness and your kindness. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen. Thank you, Father. We praise you. And then we want to go home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 